So Jesse, if somebody says they, they're at a point of saying, you know what, I'm not doing the best I can. I want mm -hmm. to do more. Do you have any quick tips that people could make those yeah. steps? Yeah. So, I mean, the main thing is like, I like the clean house uh, attitude, but at the same time, I don't want to get into anything that's not sustainable. So um, I'm going to give you the tips that I really give like any audience and any, like just anyone, because I really think anyone can do these and benefit from them. Um, so I think it comes down to like, and, and I really deal in the realm of like what you do with your body act, activity and like workout wise and what you eat. Um, you can't separate the two. They're really important. So I'm going to give you some tips, um, on those. The number one thing is get up, get moving, walk. Um, whether you, you know, walk to somewhere or you walk for enjoyment or walk as a stress relief or will you walk, um, yeah, as an exercise or you walk quick to break a sweat, but basically anyone can do, you know, walking or you can have, um, some, whether you have a treadmill, whether you have a stationary bike, whether you are walking to the grocery, but when you walk and you just get the heart rate up and, and going and you start pumping blood, you're going to see so many benefits of that. The, the benefits are psychological, emotional, and physical. And this is something where it can actually strengthen your heart. It can increase your blood flow. Uh, it, you can reduce your blood pressure. You can burn off sugar if you have high, high blood sugar. I mean, just really any medical challenge you might be dealing with walking can present a whole slew of benefits. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so that's something, you know, that I really think, you know, a lot of people can do and should do. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the other two benefits, you know, are, are kind of in the realm of what, what we eat and, and how we think about food. So I think the number one thing that I would, that I would say for a lot of people to do is just, what are your portion sizes that you're eating? Mm -hmm. Um, be, and why this is so important is for, for a couple reasons. We live in a world where food is so abundant. It's so delicious. It's so easy to get. You can just be driving and you might not even be hungry, but you get triggered, you know, by a billboard or by the glowing arches or, you know, whatever your favorite food joint is. And we like literally, you know, we can just go and eat whatever we want, whenever we want, however much we want. And I need to watch that. And so not only is like, food everywhere, but the food that is everywhere, um, it's, there, there's addictive qualities to it. Um, and it's very high calorie, you know, there's extra sugar, there's extra oils in the foods, which makes it addictive. It makes it more fun. It releases more dopamine. So not only is it everywhere, but there's way more energy in it than maybe what our ancestors were eating. Um, so for that reason, we find ourselves packing on extra pounds, like very easily. Um, so, so yeah, like, and this is real. So we, we, the number one thing is, Hey, I need to watch, watch my portions. I need to eat relevant to myself today. Not my past self as a college athlete or as a high school athlete, not what my spouse or my friend is eating. I need to eat relevant for me. Um, a really simple guideline for this is your proteins, uh, would be the size of your palm. Your carbs would be like a handful, you know, your rice, your bread, um, like equivalent to hundred calories, maybe like a slice of bread or something like that. Um, the vegetables is about the size of your fist and your fats, the portion size is about the size of your thumb. Um, and if I have, two, yeah, like on your plate. Mm -hmm. Um, and if, so like two or three of those, like depending on, you know, your, your age and your, your gender and your size and like different things, but in general, um, you know, so like that keeps things balanced, right? So if I look at my plate and it's like three or four servings of the carb and like, no protein or no vegetables like that, that portion scheme is out of balance. Um, so if I can look at my plate and I, I see the protein, I see the carb, I see the vegetable. Um, and then the, the fats, which is probably like the sauce or maybe it's in the, the protein, you know, or whatever. Um, that's going to really keep me in balance. This is going to keep my blood sugar in a better place. I'm not going to feel as bloated. Uh, and my energy is going to be more uh, like sustained, a sustained level of energy instead of spiking. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have the nourishment that I need. So there's a lot of out of balance meals. Um, so that is very very balanced. It's very general. Um, it works for a lot of people. Um, and that kind of leads into probably like my 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 third point that I actually do recommend a lot, which is fasting 
whether it's taking a day of fasting from food or fasting for 18 or 24 hours, or maybe it's what they call intermittent fasting, which is basically like purposely skipping meals. Um, or maybe you're just fasting from a certain type of food. I really think this is important because it really breaks your rhythm. It really breaks your cycle. If that's like a, a bad cycle that you're in. Um, if I'm struggling with eating too much sugar, or eating too many snacks, or maybe it's like fasting from, you know, a certain outlet like media or social media or, or movies or something like that. Um, but fasting is just absolutely nutritious for the, the body and, and the mind. Um, so I, I do, you know, I spe- if you do have a lot of medical stuff going on, it's definitely good to consult a, uh, a doctor. Um, but it can be extremely beneficial for different um, medical stuff and even just different psychological things um, or physically, it, it can definitely help with weight loss. It can help with increasing energy. Um, if you feel like you're abusing food or certain flavors or certain things, this can really help. Um, you can talk to me more about this too. If you want to reach out, um, you know, I can definitely give you some guidelines um, and it's becoming more popular. Um, but there's definitely some do's and don'ts, which is maybe another conversation, but just the idea, if it seems scary, if it seems very foreign, it, it is, um, it so breaks the norm, but yet, um, it just, the benefits are insane, you know, because it kind of breaks that entitlement of, Oh, I can have whatever I want whenever I want, however much I want. It really just shatters that. And I just think that's, you know, deep down, we know that that's not the right attitude. Um, so when you purposely could, when you could have something, but you purposely don't, there's so much strength in that. Um, and there's so much healing and health for our body in that. Um, so, you know, this, this, and this also can really reduce the amount of calories someone is taking just by like basically not, not eating, um, or not eating one day out of a week or one day out of a month or something like that. And then that gives you time. Like when you're not doing dishes and you're not cooking and you're not eating, you're like, Oh, I have like an extra couple hours today. This is amazing. Um, the first time you do it, it definitely is definitely rough. Um, (laughs) but this is something, yeah. And, and I've had really good and really bad experiences with fasting. So, um, that there's, you know, I would definitely love to give anyone some tips on that. Um, but there's a lot of information online. There's different types of fasts, but just the idea of fasting, I just think is absolutely, um, incredible and positive and helpful. That is so great. So get up and move. Get up and move. Fashion control and fasting, whether it's food fasting or some sort of with, withholding from yourself. Yes, and yes, a denial, yeah. That's great. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. So, Jesse, we've been talking a lot of different – oh, reverse. <laughs> so, Jesse, we've been talking a lot about the importance, about the what is important. Why mm-hmm. is it important? Why is our physical health important? You know, that's a good question. And, and I mean, this is really the basis, like your why, this is your purpose in pursuing a what or a how. And, and this is what's going to give it me, you know, maybe you're looking at making some changes. Well, you should look at, well, why do I want to do this first? And at the end of the day, you have one body, you know, you get, you get one, you know, standard issue, human physical body for your whole life. Um, what if, what if I gave you like one t-shirt for your whole life and it's like you had to steward that you had to take care of that or one car, you know, we go through things and and, in life and we don't realize, you know, like, Hey, this is my only coffee cup for my whole life. This is my only computer I'll ever have. Like you would treat it so differently. Like one phone. If I was like, you cannot get a replacement screen, you cannot get a replacement, uh, you know, phone, like this is it. You, man, you would really take care of it because you see the value in it. Um, and we have to realize that with our body, like, yes, the medical realm is very advanced, but there's so many things there's not a pill for, there's not a successful surgery for it. And even the knowledge, like, man, doctors, if they're honest, they, they're, they are stumped so many times and like, yes, they are trying their best, but we can't just say like, Oh man, I, I can be reckless here because I can just get, this fixed by a pill or by an operation. It's just not true. Like so I know so many people that have had surgeries that have made things more complicated. So we can't just take the easy way out. Like you have one body and you have to steward it. And the reason is, is because if you don't have your health, like 
you, what do you have? You know, if, if, if I can't go enjoy life, my soul is going to suffer my heart, my emotions. Um, if I'm not keeping my, my brain sharp, maybe my favorite memories are going to fade away, you know, or maybe my ways of interacting with my, my family or the world there, you know, I could be limiting myself from a favorite passion or hobby if I, if I start deteriorating or if I'm confined to the couch. So there's so much life. There's so many possibilities out there. There's so many things to see. Um, and I have clients that, that for different health reasons or different things they're dealing with that are preventable, they can't go travel. They can't go to certain places. They can't get up and go and enjoy something. And there's so much that I could miss out on if I don't have health, if I haven't invested into my, my vessel, my physical structure that gets me around in life. And it is the, the structure around your, your brain and your emotions. So the entire, the entirety of life is experienced through your physical body. Mm. It's also how you are expressing yourself to the world. Um, I, I've talked to and work with a lot of people um, in sales or in, different capacities at work or they're, they want to um, get promotions and they always talk about how they want more health. They want more fi vitality because it's how they present themselves. It's how they can pursue goals. Mm -hmm. um, people recognize this, you know, the, 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 the foods you eat, the amount of sleep you get, whether or not you're working out, whether or not you're using exercise to control stress levels, all these things bleed together and run together. So I think that our, you know, life is not only spiritual, life is not only mental, and it's not only physical. Um, all these things are squashed together. And if the thing that's housing all of them is suffering, then those things are going to suffer too. So, but, it, but, but again, this doesn't mean I need to like be the best at working out. I, I do need to be aware of it. And I do need to be thinking about my physical health on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Um, in the same way, I should also be thinking about how is this the content of this movie or how is hanging out with this person with these really bad morals, how is that going to affect my mental life? I need to be thinking about, man, if I eat this food, how is that going to affect my physical health? We need to be stewarding ourselves. I mean, just absolutely. What you said about if we only had one phone with one screen, how we <laughs> – oh, my goodness. I thought immediately I thought I would stay in my purse until I needed it. I would – Take care of it very, very well. And I know I'm not as great a steward, but I'm on my journey. So I'm definitely mm -hmm. recognizing those points for myself as well. Thank you so much for that. That is, that is so profound how you said that. We, we do. We only get one body. We have yeah. one part of this. So, but the great thing is every 24 hours, we get a new start. Wow. So yeah. we, can, we can make the new choice say I'm not mm. going to have cocoa puffs for breakfast I'm going to yeah. have oatmeal or eggs or something nutritious so that's great yeah and even if I even if I make a shift like that for three out of seven days a week that's like way better than not having it you know like zero out of seven um so so yeah again we don't have to we don't have to aim for perfection here we don't have to aim from like zero to sixty um, but we should be focused on improvement. We should be focused on betterment. Uh, and, and that's like what I like to say is I don't need to be perfect today. I just need to be better. And and so better is an, it's still incomplete, but it's, it's farther along the process than, than, you know, than, than zero, than, than, than not having it. So I, I do need to improve. I do need to get up and out of where I am. Um, but I don't need to deal with the stress and discour potential discouragement of like aiming and shooting for perfection. But if I'm going in that direction, I'm going to be getting better and better is an improvement upon zero. Uh, so, so I do need to come out of, uh, out of that, what, whatever is not serving me. I just need to be better. That is great. I'm going to have a t-shirt made. I mean, I'm not joking. I don't, <laughs> I need better. <laughs> That's, That's good. Great. Sweet. Oh. Do it. Oh, well, thank you again for these tips. That is it's so helpful. It is so helpful. And I, I'm so glad that you reframed that because in my mind, even as I was saying about going away from the cocoa puffs and having healthy meals, I wasn't thinking about three out of the seven days. My mind is, is okay, get rid of it all together. Yeah. I, I know I've struggled and suffered with that feeling of failure when I set my goals so lofty and high that, and I don't reach them. So I'm so glad that you interjected and, and rephrased that. Yeah. It's just about well, that's 
And that's something that I see a lot as a coach and why I'm, I like love being a coach is because, and because I had to learn this for myself. And like this, I think is why I have lasting change, but it's taken a long time. Like if I was like, Hey, do you want to be a new person in eight years? It's like, no, I want to be a new person right now. It's like, okay. <laughs> you know, and, and we know that we just know that that's not, really the case but we we're so frustrated with maybe where we're at that we want it but this is what makes us a warrior is like being on that path and being on that path is virtuous because you're saying hey i'm not perfect but i know i don't want to be here and anywhere but here like that's the warrior spirit like when i work with people they don't feel like a warrior but like deep down i know that they can be because i have been and i'm not special like this whole training for warriors thing really when I think about it, I'm like, it was kind of like for me to learn how to be a warrior because it made me face my fears. And I said, Hey, I am not okay staying here. I need to get up and move. And I had to learn not in like health, well in some health ways, but a lot of it was mental and emotional. Um, it, anyway, it's like that getting on that journey, that is the path of a warrior. So like, I'm not, maybe I'm not a warrior today. Maybe someone doesn't feel like a warrior and they don't. And they don't look like one. They don't feel like one. They don't have the confidence of one when they call me, but that's why they're calling me. Like, hey, I need a training camp. I need an academy where I can get trained. And that's what I love about training people is I can help people find that balance of like, look, we're in the back of our mind. Like our long-term goal maybe is like reaching for the stars, but like today don't have that stress. Just focus on better. Like let's, let's zoom back and look really like, are we realistically going to go from, zero to like level 10 perfection. No. Um, or at least like maybe someone has the capacity. I know that I didn't and I'm going to train people based on my experience. Cause like, this is what was real for me. This is the lens I see it through and it works. Like that mentality has really served me the hot or cold. Like I'm either all on or I'm either all off. Mm -hmm. It's, it's very brittle. Um, it's not like bamboo has the ability to, to, to bend and it. That's what makes it strong. And for me, that's how I've been able to kind of stick with it in life and like stay in really good shape or stay on my, on my sharpest mental edge is because I'm kind of giving my, I'm, I'm still driven to move forward, but I'm also patient when I don't think I'm making progress because in that moment, that is progress because that I might feel like I'm idling or like I'm in neutral, but mm -hmm. I'm not going in reverse. And like that is still, is still progress. So uh, absolutely. That's excellent. Oh, I applaud that 100%. That's a very encouraging. Oh, good. Definitely going to get that t-shirt made. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for the, for that. Why it is so important for us to know our why and it's going to be the catalyst every single day for what it is, why we're getting out of bed. We need to know these things. Why we're, why we're eating what we're eating. Just getting to that point of questioning is, is so pivotal. It just changes everything. So thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I live for these things. This is good. <laughs> <laughs>